They're putting it in the pocket. The pen just got stuck in my hair. <laughs> Serious. The pen just I, I felt like a news anchor. You disappeared and my pen was there. And I was like, where's my pen? <laughs> <laughs> and I, was I like, feel like a news anchor right now. You look like Oprah Winfrey. You look amazing. You look and I think you're a troubled teen guest on my show. <laughs> Welcome to the Sally Jesse Raphael show and with Oprah. And we're talking about uh, kids who beat up their parents. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dorigi and I'm addicted to working out. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm giving very sad. You, you look like a fitness instructor, like very like, I just love jazz and science. It's really changed my life. We should go ahead. I like to start start with a congratulations to the winner. Then we can talk about the episode. Should we start with a congratulations to the winner, or is that Are, too soon? Well, everyone listening now, I'm worried. Should we say we're just gonna say it? We're gonna say it now. So the winner of so congratulations to Serena Cha Cha. <laughs> <was> right. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. You stole my joke, and I love you so much. I love you. I was gonna interrupt you. I love you so much, Bob. You're my favorite person of life. I love you. Congrats to the beautiful Serena Cha Cha. I, I, um, I hate, I love you. Like, thank you. Thank you. See, this is why I love you. Well, everyone was making fun of me last week because you made the Serena Cha Cha joke, but I don't think I heard you. Maybe it cut out or something because I didn't hear you. And I was just looking. So everyone's commenting how you were like, oh, Serena Cha Cha. And then I was just like, Oh, there was one. I didn't watch it, but I, I, I went on and on, and sometimes you don't listen. <laughs> you don't watch our show? I, don't. I can't watch myself. I do it, and I leave it. I can't. I never oh watch Oh, my it. God. No, I don't do it. I can't watch myself. I'm way too critical. I get way... It's distracting to me. I can't do it. So, off the top, uh, Eureka's back in the competition. She... She just won the episode and, okay. and sent home Trinity last week. And everyone voted for Trinity, except Trinity who voted for Raja. Yeah. Everyone voted for... I wonder how that feels when you're there and, like, everyone voted you out. Like, everybody. What? Like, I would be so hurt. Was it her time to go? Who else? <sighs> who else? That's the question. I don't... Who else? Here's the, here's the thing. It's not about it being her time to go. I think she, I, oddly enough, I don't see the point in bringing Eureka back because she's not going to win. Like, we, I, I know she's not going to win. And I think she no knows she's not going to win. <laughs> that's, that's, oh my God. So I'm just kind of like, well, why, what's the point of bringing her back and sending home a girl who had a real solid chance of winning? Ooh, that is, uh, Bob, ooh, that was like dropping a... <laughs> Ooh, you want to, to be honest, you know, what, how well, do you I really, mean, I am how do you really feel? You know, how do you really feel? Uh, 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 you, did you ever, can I ask you a question? And I know you work with Eureka, yeah. Eureka and you love Eureka and Eureka <laughs> is wonderful. Did you ever see her from the beginning of this season as a winner of it? Yes. Around the time of the, uh, the mixed patterns challenge, I was like, Eureka's doing a really good job. I think you Eureka could have no, won. Remember, you did not like her look on the runway that week with the mixed. No, but I still think. But I still think. No, I, I didn't think it was the best look. I didn't say I didn't like it. I didn't think you it was the best one. You said she should be set on fire. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who is she? I wish she is fired from We're Here on HBO. You said that. No. It what I said not, was it wasn't no, my favorite. It may favorite. not have made the cut on the episode, but you said that. So I do think there are several times where Eureka was doing a good job, and and I was like, she could, be, I could see her in the finale. But there came a point, like like around um, the Gothic Challenge, where I was like, it's clear to me she's not going to win. So like, wh like because it's of clear. the because of the editing and the producing, you're like there. Th this is no, I think be I think it's because the other girls were really pulling ahead. Like for me, Ginger, Raja, Sonique, and uh, and um. Trinity were just really like, were like pulling ahead really strong, and it just seemed like they were just clear and obviously doing really well. I have and, to, and Eureka wasn't doing as well. You are right, but I have to just say this as a two-time competitor <laughs> loser of the show. When you watch it, my view uh, and my opinions are different because I was there. So I actually do think 
all right, it's produced, it's edited. What we see is only what they show us. They were mm -hmm. clearly giving Trinity like a great storyline. And I do think certain episodes, certain queens really did not do very well, but they were praised, praised, praised on the runway, which- Say actually, their names, say their okay, names. Okay, I will. Like there are certain episodes where Kylie, Sonique, really did not do the best. The winner of certain episodes, like the best, oh my God, you're amazing. When I thought as a viewer and a lover of Kylie and all the girls, but I was like, well, clearly you didn't do the best. The winner of that episode. And I was like, what's happening here? You know, well, there like, were a few moments. I, I thought that I thought they did that to Jan. When yeah. Jan won the Super Bowl episode, I was like, she did a good job, but it should have been Trinity. I think when when Kylie won the At Beyonce, uh, yeah, the, it was amazing. Yeah, when Kylie yeah. when Man. Kylie won the acting, I was like, that probably should have been Ginger. Yeah. I think when when Ginger won Snatch Game, I was like, that probably should have been Kylie. But there so, were a few moments where I was like, I would have voted differently. <laughs> So I always think to myself, and you know, there was a certain point where like after, oh, Jesus gross, and I left, I was like, you know what I wanna do? I wanna contact World of Wonder, and I wanna get hired by World of Wonder for one season. Oh God. As like a queen liaison, like somebody with a headset and a clipboard to kind of manipulate the girls into better storylines, like a story producer, because I, I actually really got what they were trying to do, and I was like, you're just not doing it well enough. <laughs> <laughs> I well, was like, also it moment. could actually be done better. Make these girls cry. Yes. <laughs> Where are the fights? Uh, well, I also, I don't, I don't necessarily, I mean, there are people who are like, it's all bullshit and it's all reality TV and not, the winners aren't the winners. All. Not all, but uh, there are a lot of episodes. <laughs> so anyway, so Eureka has sent home uh, Trinity. Everyone voted for Trinity. Okay. She never, she never stood a chance. Go. I have a controversial opinion. Go. I feel like Silky, Silky winning like all those lip syncs was the biggest standout thing of the season. But I can't think of yes. a lot of other things from the season that were like, no. like these crazy no. moments. Like you know, like Let's when I'm trying, I'm trying, there's some there's been some wild moments like Roxy Andrews taking off the wig and having another wig, yeah, or no. Sharon Needles going down yeah. the runway and blood falling down her mouth, or all these things. Well, so Key's moment is the most iconic thing from the season. Completely agree. So, you know, I do this tailgate show every week with Miss Jade, our uh, Brooklyn girl, we love her, and Crystal Hart, Brooklyn girl. And I looked at them tonight when we were just filming, or when we were watching earlier, and I said, listen, when mm -hmm. the season started and every week I film with Bob, we were so excited. Also, you know, I mean, I like drama and fighting and arguing. Mm -hmm. it, it just seemed like all the girls, it, the, the season did a lot of this because everyone was getting along with each other, even the Kikis. There, where was the fight? Where was the moment where it was like, da da da, da da da. Right? And it was silky. When we look back in five years and go, that season, it was like that silky episode where she just oh, yeah. slayed 19 episodes lip syncing against everyone with a guitar and poured food out of her breasts, you know, made a cocktail. And it's like, that was funny. She had a good time and drank. I just wanted more fighting and arguing, but I think everyone just knows each other and gets along. And they also don't want to say something on the show, which afterwards they're going to become the villain. That's the real part. That's the part because you and I both know that off the show, the girls argue. We argue with each other. There, you've been in the club, you've been on the tours, you've done all the things, you've been part of the arguments, yeah. you've had arguments with people, I have as well. Off the show, you, people think that producers like sneaking around and making us argue. You do not need to do anything to make drag queens argue with each other. There's, you just put us in a room and then tell us to go and at some point the bitches will start arguing and we all know that. This is my problem with watching, and this is what I said after season eight and All Stars, I kind of thought about the show and I was like, they should have a season where it's all like kind of new queens because the tenacity is there and the fight is there. When you have seasoned queens who know that it's not good to fight with another queen because you look like a villain. Now we have mm -hmm. All Stars with people already established friendships, careers, they're always looking to say like the most lovely thing because they don't want that meme out there of them being a villain. So it makes- And they're the, afraid, yeah, they're afraid. It makes the season, rightfully so, Bob. Can you imagine if you came back and said that- Yeah, of course. Fucking that one thing that came out of your mouth and you're like, oh my God, that's how I'm remembered now. 
they're thinking that. So, and they also do love each other, but they're they're afraid to be honest and like create drama for a television show. And it's like, yeah, I mean, I wasn't. I mean, I I was arguing and ha and like the, that's just, that's also because I'm an argumentative and and confrontational person. So anyway, I'll, I'll um, say this: I've known Bob for. 15 years you on the show while we were filming and afterwards even now and before you have always been the same person you've never changed you've always been a fucking asshole <laughs> and i love every every second of it i love every well i've matured i've matured i'm, I'm not that i'm not the same 22 year old you man i've matured a little bit since then but matured in my own way and in my own essence you know what i mean so Tanya Tucker shows up on the screen and, and reveals that they're going to be doing. Uh, do you do you like Tanya Tucker, by the way? Oh, uh, I knew of her. Uh, I don't. I don't really follow country music. I'm not a country music anything. But I knew Drag of Trixie. Tanya Tucker, and I, for some reason, I knew that she was kind of robbed year after year because she has been writing country albums for like 30 years or something. Right? Am I right? Yeah, she's very Susan Lucci of the Grammy world. Yeah, there it is. So I knew that. So when she finally won, it was like this big deal. And for some reason in my lifetime, I like paid attention to that. And I was like, good for you, baby. Also, I don't listen to her big, music. her big, her big hit is Stand By Your Man. That's like her big thing. She is it's a song called Stand By Your Man. Yeah. Um, but she's, she's great. She's an icon. But we're doing country song. Now, country music is very controversial. People do not. Everyone does not love country music. And now we have this country music happening this country this country music thing going on P there are people who are like just not into it do not feature it a lot of folks don't, I, I will say this I, i'm jumping in a little bit here i did not like this song there was nothing about this song that i oh, liked i love I you so much because i didn't want to i did not remember I was waiting for you i didn't to remember to any cadence, lyrics and i was gonna go oh yeah this no. song never grabbed me never grabbed no me. In one ear, out the other. Although, Nothing about this song. The whole thing, because it's just so funny. I keep going back because I literally just did a viewing party hours ago, and I went on the microphone. Mm -hmm. and I said, "I want to sleep with every single one of these cowboys in jeans." Oh, they're beautiful. And I said, "That's beautiful. all the whole music video that they filmed." I said, "Oh, and Eureka's there." Yes, <laughs> I didn't even yeah. pay attention to the queens. I just the guys were gorgeous, but the beat was wrong. Also, there was nothing country about it. Uh, three of the girls rapped verses. Uh, also, uh, maybe I'm putting my foot in my mouth. I don't know what is the right, I don't know. Maybe they're trying to mix genres. I just didn't like it. And I'm entitled to my- yeah, I didn't like it either. Yeah. What didn't you, what didn't you like about it? Go for it. It wasn't catchy. I can't it remember wasn't. a single word. I mean, not a single word yeah. from this entire song. I think at one point, uh, at one point, um, Kylie said twang, and at one point, Eureka said Mary Antoinette, and also, Kate. was it me or was Kylie's verse like three times as short as the other girls' verses? I think she was just talking real slow because well, Naomi like, had that. Eureka in had like the whole show. She went on and on and on, and then Ginger <laughs> joined. Uh, on and on. I was like, where are the other girls? And then Ginger joined and then she got on the floor and started twerking and I was like, all right, Ginger, do your thing. Uh, and then yeah. Kylie came out of nowhere and like, it was like three lines and then it cut to Raja and Raja's raps were so fast. I was like, ah, I have to listen to this later. I was like, da, 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 da. So before we, I was like, what the fuck? Before we get too into it, I wanted to quickly, because we have a slide with all the lyrics. We'll read the lyrics, talk about them. Before we get too into it, I want to say, um, okay, during the little chat, little conversations, why was Michelle being so quiet? For the first three girls, all she said was goodbye. Wait, and then she only the spoke to Roger. No, during the little, the little Tic Tac lunch thing. Michelle kept, she was just sitting there. Was she like, that Michelle quiet? Was, I didn't even know I, this. I mean, they maybe edited, they maybe edited stuff out, but like Michelle never said a, she said when, when the first three girls left, all she said was goodbye. And then for Raja, she actually did a, a, quite a bit of talking. I was like, this is wild. I hate what her. What is going on? I hate her. <laughs> 
Oh my god. All right, let's talk about the so let's talk about the look. You have your your slide in front of you, Thorgy. All right, let's do that. Let's go. Look, let's come on. So we're gonna go through we're gonna go through their, through their performance looks and lyrics. Okay, uh, Eureka says, "No Mary Antoinette's, I ate that cake. No Mary Queen of Scots. No Catherine the Great. Oh, no man. room for social hierarchy." House the homeless, feed the hungry, change the perception and forget the sample. A true queen lives and leads by example. Stand up, Bob, don't sit, you Eureka, stop. you found you it. Stop. You what? Stop what? I'm you just reading the lyrics. Stop all of this. You reading this is just like making me like, no, 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 no. Come on. What's going on? So these are the lyrics. I, I don't see what it has to do with being American. The whole song was like, I am America. She talks about And like other the whole song is about... <laughs> Yeah, like Mary Antoinette, Mary Queen of Scots. Like, there's, there's, why are you dressed like Mary Antoinette? I don't understand. She looks good. Yeah. But, like, how does this make sense with being American? I don't get it. I just want to know what kind of Molly she was on. It sounds fun. <laughs> the look looks good, though. But the look is good. It is a sickening look. I just don't get it. And then out of nowhere, it was like, I'm an advocate for the homeless and the hungry. I'm sorry. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Feed the hungry. It was odd, also, right? can I just say something? Feed the hungry. Girl, oh, she's a huge bitch. Stop it. That's a <laughs> lyric for you. Come on. And I know this is wrong and I'm going to be canceled. Oh I don't care. God. It just, it was funny to, come on, come on. Let's go into Ginger Minge. I don't mind her in this cocktail dress. I, I'm glad that she's finally like, she's found the length that doesn't make her legs look tiny, but then she puts on the boot. Like she has it's this country, like, if this it's had a, a country pump, song though. It's a country song. So the, the boot makes sense. Yeah, I reckon it's just that little boot. I her reckon. Her lyrics say, oh. Ew, gross. <laughs> oh my country, tis the tea, which I love that line, tis the tea, that's very all cute. Right, all right. Motherland to motherland to everyone who yearns for equality. Tea. Listen up, freedom comes with responsibility. Be the change you want to see. You be you and I'll be me. Like these lyrics just don't move me. I did love tis the tea, but like these are all these are like it's like vague like Everyone deserves love. It's all these like vague. It's like very vague. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like uh, uh, it's uh, regurgitated. Uh, I'm trying to uh, colloquialisms. Is that the word? Yeah, yeah. Idi idi idioms and colloquialism, which are like saying that make it like around the way. Nonsense words that always make sense in any situation. Kylie Sonique Love, I use my twang when I need to yell. And if they can't go to heaven, I'm, we're going to raise hell. I really like that line. I stand real proud, and, and you should too. Let's stand together in our red, white, and blue. Whoa. Um, I, the only part of this line that I really love was if they can't, if they can't go to heaven, then we're gonna, if they can't lower heaven, then we're going to raise hell. I do like that line. That who, is a good line. Who is they? God? The angels? Uh, and if God. they can't go to heaven, then we are going to raise hell. I think oh, we actually, she, they can't lower I think lower she's heaven. speaking for trans rights. If they can't go to heaven, then we're going to raise maybe. hell for them. Oh, that, that, that may, yeah, see, I think that she, that she said some really great stuff. Yeah. I think that, that one line was the great. lyrics because I'm like, why would you say they? Also, it, it, it immediately gives a, a nice little nod to everyone who identifies as they, uh, double gender, any gender, no gender, all gender. Yeah. If they can't go to heaven, oh my God, this is also, now I'm falling more in love with Kylie as I'm getting into this. This is smarter. There, this is like much more smart. If they can't go to heaven, meaning like calling out everyone who like thinks they're disgusting and godless and they don't deserve the same yeah. rights. Oh, oh, they can't go to heaven? Then you know what? We're going to raise gonna... hell. And she puts we, meaning me, as their like forefront, like, spearheading like goddess so i think that she looks pretty good um it, the outfit's a little bit day wear but she looks really beautiful so raja is wearing this gingham moment okay um, wait wait, like, like wait, wait you need to read the lyrics but read them slow there's a lot of words yeah like a queen on the scene, I'ma use my voice gotta stand when people don't have a choice All right. can't breathe don't can't breathe, don't shoot, running through my brain. Nothing good on the news. The world's the same. This world's the same. Praying that we can just come together, stand in love, and really shine together. Rep in the U.S. Rep you in the us. Then add an A. Our colors stand true in the USA. This is a brilliant. This yeah. is a brilliant verse. Yeah, I couldn't hear a single lyric now that I read it. 
it's like she brings in Black Lives Matter, everything that's going on about how she feels, empower yeah. people, and it's cunty. <laughs> it's like, it's actually like, right? it's like cunty. These are the best lyrics in this entire challenge. Yeah. Um, I don't love this look. I don't like this feather, the feather trim going down the sleeves. Minus oh the feather my trim God. Going down. I thought, and I said this, and I'm gonna say it right now. I thought this what? was my favorite favorite look that she wore all season. <laughs> oh, work. I mean, I, the only, I literally I, thought I was like, look. she looks amazing. Like, I don't know what I liked about it. And I know she made it. I like the shoulder yeah. pads that she, do you see her body shape? We're staring at an image right now, right? But it's yeah, like- Yeah, her body's bananas, yeah. Her shoulder pads, like, like I just, I love it. I, I actually liked it. I could have used without all the, the feathers on her shoulders. Yeah, the feather on the shoulders, though, is the one thing I'm kind of like, I don't know, but I think her body looks really great. It is the final runway. This is the last time they're going to strut their stuff, and they are wearing their very best drag. Let's talk about these looks. All right, so it looks like Eureka is doing a purple version of the Bob Mackie share garment that she wore till I think it was the Oscars. Oh, the my Grammys. God, I didn't even put it together. And she does, she does, she looks really good. Is I mean, that all together like the share thing? I, I think it's a, it's it's a referential. It's not a it's not a recreation, but it does seem referential. It's so weird. It's and, like and it, when I see Eureka wear a giant headpiece like this, I don't think Cher. I think Eureka, because Eureka is now this queen who can wear these huge headpieces. Always has. She showed up to like one of the premieres with an elephant on her head that was bigger than her body, and she wore it. Yeah. Never complained. Never sweat. You know. I was like, girl. Not a lot of queens can do this. Not a lot of people on earth can do this. Eureka is one of those amazing human beings who is literally larger than life and can wear these larger than life headpieces. I didn't think Cher, but you're right. This is the best Ginger Minters look all season. This is the best thing, not all season, as as out of every time I've ever seen Ginger Minj anywhere, ever, she has never looked this good. This is phenomenal. Who is this designer? I wanna know immediately. This is the, I mean, this is the best thing she's ever put on her body. Colors I are right, love, shape I, is right, yep. it is beautiful. The shoe, the hair, the makeup, everything. She looks amazing. Yeah, then I went to the shoe and I was like, okay, a little champagne colored, sparkly, open-toed strap. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, yeah. She's very beautiful, yeah, she, gorgeous colors. She looks gorgeous. Pink, oh, so pinks good. and purples and blues. What a gorgeous palette. Oh my. Amazing. She looks amazing, amazing balls. Let's go on to Kylie Sonique Love. I think she looks great. I'm just shocked that she chose uh, like a a, a a like a short dress for her final runway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But she I does look the, absolutely beautiful. I didn't actually hear the, uh, what they, is it just your best drag or finale look? Yeah, I think it's just like, yeah, eleganza, extravaganza. There's like no, just there's no awkward. theme, just like, look, you're great. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I think so. Choosing this for that was a little interesting, you know. Yeah, I mean, she does look absolutely stunning. I love the tinsel hair. I love the tinsel in the hair. Yeah. Um, but I'm just shocked that her. I final think it's look a wig by is, vanity. Is a cocktail dress. <laughs> oh, probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go into Raja O'Hara, who looks really good again. I mean, I, I personally, there's queens and they don't. I love a velvet dress. I think velvet dresses look so. Fucking expensive. Really? I think a velvet dress, like a velour dress, looks so expensive. Like a suede velvet looks so expensive. I want to have, looks I so wanna have my mind changed, but I'm a little like, it was a 90s thing, and then it came back around really quickly in the, like the 2000s, where it was like really cool to, for like vintage, like young girls to wear mm -hmm. velvet again. Like the velvet tops were cool, like vintage wise. But in the queen, uh, queendom, it's like, I don't think velvet ever left. <laughs> velvet was never bad. Yeah, that's true. Uh, with the said, I didn't even think velvet good or bad. I thought I love her shape. And because she's told us that she makes all of her looks, I thought amazing. She made this, she made yeah. this. She also knows her body. Like her body looks so fucking banging. Does she her highlight her like so clavicle good. bone and her shoulder? I think she does. I mean, probably she's covered in glitter. She covered everything from her neck to her nipples is completely covered in glitter. Fuck her. And it looks good. So 
RuPaul decides to get them to all do a, like a little lip sync, which I'm so glad that she's doing them one at a time. Like, thank God she's not making them all lip sync. Because, you know, on our season, the top four, we all have to lip sync at the same time. It is chaos. Yeah. It's madness. Right. So I'm glad they lip sync one by one. How do you feel? Well, I wasn't there for your reference of the top four of our season. Oh my God! But you but did you see it on, on the television? I stopped watching. I let you borrow my. I stopped watching. I let, I let you borrow my cable code. I stopped, <laughs> I love you so much. Fuck you. Uh, I did watch and I didn't see who won our season, but um, it was nice to see them each lip sync one by one. Also, no, oh. I'll say this. No, that would have been a gag. No, I wanted them all to like lose control. It would have been the epic. It would have built. It, it would have beat Silky lip syncing 17 times in a row. It would have been the next moment where it's like all the top four girls in their best gowns now have to like battle it out. I don't know. All right, let's, let's, talk, let's talk about their performances. So Ginger Minj comes out in his leotard, okay. which leotard looks good. I just don't understand like, I, Ginger Minj isn't known for mo the, the kind of moving that requires you wear a leotard. Like, okay. I mean, she was doing some, how did you feel about her, her performance, her lip sync? No, it was good. I mean, Ginger Minch can really turn to lip sync, and I think we learned that early or early on in the season. Remember when she was like, "Oh, this other girl was doing backflips around me. I'm gonna bring it to humor," and like, and she won. Remember that when she was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." So Ginger's won every lip sync she's done this season. She's been the lip sync assassin of the fucking season. For this one, it was yeah. good. Um, period. Eureka looks so good in this gown. She looks stunning. She looks amazing yes. in this fucking gown. Her lips, her lip sync gown. Um, I'll just go through them. Raja also looks good, and Kylie is in this cool look as well. And Kylie, when that fucking, when Kylie tripped and then did a front flip roll, I literally said out loud, Kylie just won. I said, Kylie just won. Yeah, because like she's a gymnast and she's like, oh, you think you're going to get me? <laughs> I literally just said out loud, wow, Kylie just won. When I look at all of them in these final looks, I think about like, this is gonna be the image of you winning forever and ever. Yeah. The one person that looks weird is like, Ginger Minj, Ginger, would you wanna no. be forever in a leotard? You want the picture of you winning to be you in a leotard. Yes, no. You want like, yeah, no, you're right. Fuck, you're right, you're so right. You're actually very right. Because what's the name one in Leotard? They look crazy, no offense to her, but Aquaria won in a Leotard. <gasps> and all I think back to is, I always think back to Aquaria wearing that Leotard and that hat holding the crown and scepter. And you look at everyone else winning and everyone's in like a gown. And then Aquaria's in like a hat You don't and like Aquaria, leotard, is... you hate her. Oh my God, that's, that's You just not what said, I said that, I heard you, everyone heard you. <sighs> I also feel like, out of all their speeches, the best speech was Eureka's. Eureka's speech oh was... Oh, my God. When, whenever mm -hmm. somebody went after it, I was like, not as good as Eureka's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eureka's speech was like, it was moving. It, was it had moving. narratives. They should have edited it there last. Was, yeah. <laughs> I was like, this was a, like, damn, girl. This was a very... She brought... This was a very emotion, good speech. Every emotion. I was like, ooh, that was a good right? speech. That was a good speech. <laughs> I was like, holy smokes. It was very that good. being said, all the girls lip sync, the final lip sync, and then in the end, they announced the winner. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 6, inducted into the Hall of Fame, is the one and only Kylie Sonique Love. She's been a favorite from the get-go. She's been a fan favorite this whole time. I think she's really proven that she's really talented. Yeah. She's really grown as a person, as a performer, as a drag queen yeah. since her season. Yes. Um, I was really like pretty even with Kylie and Raja O'Hara. Yeah. I mean, maybe like maybe 51 Raja, 49 Kylie, but I'm really happy that Kylie won. E either one of them would have been like, this is great. I For me, I was really like half and half with Kylie and Raja. And I'm very glad that Kylie I think won. it's very, very cool that she won. I think she's well deserved. She looks gorgeous. Yeah, for sure. What a cool individual on this earth to carry that throne. It's very, very cool. And uh, I can't wait to see what she does with it. Yeah. It's very cool. I mean, much love to all the other girls. A big special shout out to Raja, who just really did such a good job. I'm so glad the fans are embracing her this season. She got so much shit on her original season. I'm so glad the fans are finally getting their heads out of their asses and, and acknowledging how phenomenal this queen is. How I, she gave us, she has given us so much iconic TV. She's kept it so real the entire season. There was never a moment of artifice 
with her. She was always likable. She was always likable. And I gotta say, yes. uh, during my weekly Brooklyn viewing party, which I love, 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 I always ask the audience, and my audience in Brooklyn loves Raja. Brooklyn loves Raja. Always screamed for her, always rooted for her, every episode. So, Brooklyn embraces you, Raja. When, <laughs> when Kylie won, how was the audience reaction? Oh, they loved it. Oh, they loved, loved, loved it. They screamed, I mean, crazy screaming. So it was a happy moment and it wasn't like a what? Sure. You know, it was like a crazy thing. Not when- um, If you had- Yeah. Wait, shut up. I was I gonna say, gonna not say. when I Aquaria already... won, because apparently you don't care for Aquaria. Uh, when Aquaria won, I know you were like, oh God, ugh, she's wearing a leotard. No, you I... said it, not me. Um, no, it's fine, but- I did not say no, that. No, it's fine, you said it and uh, I will always hold you to it. But you know what, Aquaria is amazing. She's my New York sister, but New York embraced Aquaria unlike you because you don't care for Aquaria and you think she should I have won. I love think Aquaria. She have won. But when Kylie won, New York was like, <laughs> oh my God. But thank God she's not wearing a leotard, which you- Leotard. <laughs> don't like. One final- uh... Bob, let me get this straight. So you're critiquing Ginger and Aquaria for having their crowning looks be leotards, but- didn't your sister did you... Monet wear a cat suit when she got crowned? <laughs> okay, let's be clear. I am not responsible for Monet's actions. You are. I am you not and responsible your for... You and your sibling rivalry, you and your gross relationship with Monet. She wore a leotard cat suit when she won. Lazy as... That has, that that has your nothing daughter. to do that with me. your sister and you are responsible for it. Long live Aquaria. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you all for listening here on Stereo. You're a fantastic uh, Thorgy and I. This is our last episode together. Yeah. I will not be doing Drag Race UK 3 because I'm getting a little throat surgery. However, if you're here, if you're listening, please take this time to follow Thorgy and I here on the Stereo app. Thorgy has committed to doing UK 3 herself. Yes. It's been announced, now she has to do it. Well, yes, I just have to figure um, out how I'm gonna do it and we're gonna do it right. And I'm still gonna reach out to you, if that's okay, Bob, with your opinion uh, of everyone. Even if you can't talk, you can type. Yeah, I can type, yeah, you, you can like you can read a little note from Bob. <laughs> I'll make up, I'll make up everything. <laughs> I'll be like, how is oh the girl God. who won this week? And I'll be like, Bob says Aquarius shouldn't have worn <laughs> that leotard when she won, it was pathetic garbage and I don't respect her drag. I'm gonna have to publicly post and my own And you can't publicly do anything because you can't speak. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So everyone check out, everyone check out Thorgy. I don't know if she's gonna do it on stereo. I don't know how she's gonna do We're it, gonna but she'll it do it. We're gonna figure it out in a big way. It's gonna be fun. And. You all be said thank you so much for everyone who has been tuning in to, for me and Thorgy this whole season. You've been absolutely amazing. Oh, Bob, you're We've gonna had make a me great cry. Outpour. This is so good. Oh, yeah, we, this has been a great. We've had a, a really big outpouring of support this season. It's been really, really fun. Everyone loves really us has. together, so let's work together in some other way, okay? Mm, I love you very much. All right, bye everyone. Peace, y'all. <laughs>